uh, where chat wants survivors first, so we're gonna start with survivors. Yeah, yeah I know, but which character? Oh, we're starting on number one, oh. Gardener. Uh, Gardener in this meta, in this meta, Gardener I have red, is I have S. I was gonna say A or S. I I, okay. Okay, so if you are in competitive, Gardener is S tier. However, if you are not in competitive and just rank, I think she's low A, yeah. high B. Yeah. Like, she's a very solid overall. Con Actually, we should decide. Malcolm, do we want to make this tourney style or do we want to make this um, rank style? Give it. You should have chat decide. Chat, chat do you, do you want rank or yeah. do you want a tourney style to your list? Because, like, tourney and comp. Tourney and, and tourney rank and are like two entirely different worlds when it comes to tiering. Like a character could be like A tier in rank and then F in turn. I'm seeing like, rank. Okay, low okay, A. Okay, we're seeing rank. Or low A. Low A tier. Low Gardner A tier. is low A tier then. What's the difference? The difference is that rank meta and is completely different because rank meta is more of just you by yourself. Like maybe you can have a occasional like good sets of randoms, but compared to a tournament where you're always assuming that the players are at maximum capacity and that they know how to do everything that they're supposed to do as the, as the best of the best, you know they're going to bring out the full potential of the character in some way, unless it's Yon, in which he's stuck in Worker B. But okay. Furthermore, um, in competitive, you also have an understanding of who your hunter might play, um, who the, the hunter you're fighting might play. So... Um, it's a bit more of a controlled environment because if we're going against an Ann main who plays Naya, then we don't have to prepare for an opera singer. So it changes, you know, what we can push out in the round one or round two. Mm. Hopefully, does that answer y'all's uh, questions? Mm. I hope it does. So I guess, uh, all right, so then rank to your list for season 30 identity V. So for me, she's, uh, for me, for, for me, me, for me, I have her low, low A tier. Yeah, I have okay. her low I agree. A. I agree. Lawyer. I have him at high A. Uh, low S. Low S. Low S. Yeah. I think the but, only thing, I, I guess my only thing with low S is just, I don't know, I guess maybe it's just dependent on the build that you saw. Because if we're talking like a Sui build lawyer, who's, you know. You wouldn't like, see Sui in ranked houses. That's competitive. You're right, you're right. Who the fuck is Yan? Yan is a IVL hunter that I constantly shit on because he's bad. Yeah, I think I think uh, for in my opinion, lawyer is low S because of his uh, passive from using the map. If you're in four man comms, or uh, even just duoing, the map gives you such a lot of information. Um, it can be kind of easy to marathon with him if you like are behind high walls. You can think mm. of using Leo's factory or uh, Chinatown uh, as an example. Um, I think I think he's kind of broken in that respect. Uh, that being said, if you're not in solo queue, then it still gives you a lot of information for yourself because if you know it's a bonbon, bon, you can start spamming, don't rescue me, don't rescue me, that kind of shit. So people are, are like, oh, it's a chip hunter or a camp kind of hunter, that kind of thing. Yeah. That's that's my example. Um, we are not saying this in chat, bro. Stop yo, talking about me on. Yo, can, can, like, for once, can we just, like, not be strange and just, like, focus on, like, what Zeus yeah. is talking about, please? Pretty, oh, please. God. I beg. No, actually, because, like, we're doing this, right? Like, you guys asked for this, so we're trying to give you the reasoning. So... I have 70 people here. Oh, wow, I do have 70 people here. That's insane. All right, what's next, Zeus? All right, so next is Dr. I have her D tier. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. If you have any questions on stuff, we'll try to catch it, too. Just make sure to write them down, because I don't want people to, like, say that they're, like you know head empty and like don't understand what we're saying because the whole yeah. point is that you is guys that can understand we're trying to help. we want you to understand that kind of thing all right so who would you say doctor I, I, doctor is here bro i have her d tier d tier, d -tier. Doctor is d -tier. so d tier, doctor is so d -tier. <laughs> so she's so d tier the game the game is is centered around three important things kiting decoding rescuing doctors kiting is like abysmal. you need to win every mind game just to just to live. Uh, and for decoding, she's average. She's decodes one hundred percent. And rescuing, she's a normal no, she's a normal uh, survivor. So she doesn't really stand out amongst any other character. So I think she's among one of the worst characters. She also teaches bad habits, which I don't want to really get into. But she teaches bad habits. Yeah. Same with Gardner, but like whatever. Why are some doctors so toxic? Because they think they're good at the game when they're not. 
and they think that instant rescuing and farming is like helping the team. Surprise, surprise, it's not. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. They're they're just not. It... Don't don't worry. They they think that because they rescued, they slayed, they ate, or yeah, whatever the fuck yeah. people are saying. So, but like Ask really, they're this. hurting the team. I also don't understand why doctors, for whatever reason, the whole doctor community just like. Uh, um, all decided like let's go steal rescues from the rescue main. I, that that doesn't make oh any sense my. to me. I don't know what it is. I don't think there's an any other like character community out there that steals rescues more than just doctor players. I think like oh, doctors rescue way more than actual mercenaries or forwards or any of the, the other, other sorts. Actually, I've insane. never yeah. seen doctors. Like actually, like list follow pings. If a rescuer is like saying, "Hey, stay put, I'm coming," why are you bringing your little happy ass over to the fucking chair with no tie turner to go so farm? Farm me heal off yourself, and heal and yourself. Do it again, and then do it again, and then actually just no, no, straight no, do no, it no, again. It's they're insanity. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're saving time. Whatever. Next character. Uh, yeah. I, sh I should. Like, I. St I. I've been playing this game since since the fall of 2018. I. St Still can't figure it the fuck out. I've been trying to figure it out. I don't know. Leave Emily alone. Oh my gosh. No, she's ass. And people think the character. The character is. I mean, she's a. I guess she's fine. She's not great. <clears throat> but I mean, the people that play her. I don't know. I, I don't no, know. I don't know, bro. Next, please. Thief. I have thief. I kind of have thief at low A. I'd say high B. Right high, now, like I feel like he's high. I feel like he's high B because look at all the strong hunters. Clerk or opera singer, opera singer is too fast for his flashlight to be effective. Uh, hermit can chip him out of his flashlight and stop him from flashing. Mm -hmm. Um, fool's gold has his chips to interrupt his um, his, his flashlight, and then of course, there's a typical spider, uh, not sp well, spider too, I guess. Uh, spider bonbon sculptor, the like those people, um have like uh they, they're more and more prevalent than i'm seeing so um even naya to a degree if she's like far away enough she can dash him out of his uh flashlight and I, I don't really see how like that would exactly help him because she still has the water that he can't lock her out of um so for me he's like low no high did i say high b high b for me because if you're in comms and you can put your flashlights in front of windows for in certain uh maps then he's good against other hunters like clerk uh maybe blood queen he's possibly good um but yeah i think i think thief is like a high risk high reward character in some cases i think like there are other characters that can do what he does just better like batter um or maybe prospector I, think, to some degree. I think my only thing with that is the reason i have him at low a is because half of those hunters who rely on their ability specifically to be around walls being opera and fool's world specifically thief can just run into the fucking open hold the flashlight and that's it and then they can't use their abilities half of the time and they're always trying to like gain distance and lose distance so that way they don't get flashed and he can transition for free but realistically when's the last time a thief was chased anytime i've hunted thieves i never end up chasing them i always find someone else i mean if you fair. if you can if you can force a hunter to chase a thief then you probably are gonna do reasonably well yeah uh, but yeah i think he's still been I, I just think he still deserves low A. I mean, it's argument. It's like basically the same thing. I said high B, you said low A, so I don't. You can put it wherever you want to put it. Yeah. Put it right below the fucking thing. Next is the lucky guy. Uh, surprisingly or not, I think he's A tier. I also think I think he's a solid A tier character. Top of A tier. Um, not top of A tier, but like mid. Like top yeah. Of He's like mid mid to low A tier, but yes, he's he's A tier, I believe. Yeah. You can explain that one because like I don't know I don't know why exactly he is. I just feel like he's A tier. I think he's better than Gardner though, for certain. Yeah. The reason why um Lucky Guy is high is not high, but he's mid A tier is because again, and this is like the same argument for Gardner in this current meta game. A lucky guy with being able to have two items and being able to fill in just a role in general, it works out with the team. He can have a pocket watch, he can have a gun, he can have a mechanic doll, he can have an explorer book so that way then he can play around with tinnitus and not get found by the hunters. And his kiting is not the worst when it comes to opera because of the abundance of items that he can hold and as well carry for the team itself. 
he can also just be played as a pseudo rescuer. And it Whoa! Is... Pseudo rescuer is kind of a stretch. Cause I don't want people to get it twisted and say, "Oh, okay." Well, well that's more turn said... that that that's more tourney oriented. So I take I retract that statement. That's more tourney thing when you're in a four stack against MRC and you need a four man to win Koa five. So. So I'll, I'll take that one back. That one is way more tourney oriented. But he's not. He isn't the worst. Like he's somewhat. He like he is a versatile character for this meta for opera singer and whatnot. Next character we have is forward. I'm gonna um, be honest. Eight here. <laughs> I want to put him. I want to put him. Mid out. I, I was thinking like right below Gardener. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Right below Gardener. Above yeah, I Thief, agree. But right below Gardener. I agree. And the reason I say that is because it's the hunters. It's, it's not the, the hunters. Character itself. It's not the character. It's, the it's just the hunter. He decodes too slow, which is on him. And now more than ever, you need any like percentage of decoding buff that you can get. But also the hunters just capitalize so hard on his fuck ups. Even if you stun him, a forward stuns a hunter, and the hunter just chases the forward, and then he dies within the next 30 seconds. Half of the time with how insane the hunters are. Against the Hermit, it happens. Against Opera, it happens. Against Wax, it happens. Against Fool's Gold, it could theoretically happen. He's such a coin flip with his usability that it's not even worth half of the time bringing him onto a comp unless he's either going to play hyper aggressive to harass and be pure survivability or play it completely safe and just only run tied it's so like he's so 50 50 on whether he'll actually be truly effective or not it's crazy And there's just way more consistent options. Is two decode is two decoders, one kiter and one rescue a good team comp? I would not agree with that. Just because two decoders is just leaves the team too weak. There's not a lot of survivability on that team comp. Everyone already in this metagame already decodes at neutral space, so there's no real need for a decoder. There's no need to double down on it. I never understood the whole point of double decoder. I mean, I get it. I got it. I got double decoder dub when double rescue was a thing because, yeah. but that was only useful for the mechanic because the idea was, let's say you have a, what was the team comp? It wasn't prisoner. This was before prisoner's time. Um, what? Like, M it was, I think this it, was Explorer. This was Explorer. This was when Explorer was, was meta during, um, this was during the sculptor meta. When it was, when no, it was that's, past, when it was... that's way past. That's way past prisoner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, during sculptor. Past? Meta? Yeah, prisoner and gravekeeper came out in the same season, and then sculptor came out like a season after. Vio came oh. out. Mm, oh. Interesting. Okay, well, I there was the chip hunter meta, but I think it was used. No, it was dreamwitch. That's what it was. It was dreamwitch because the idea was mercenary, gravekeeper, mechanic, and then maybe explorer. Uh, but that doesn't sound right because Explorer was only really used for Sculptor and Bonbon. Bon. Um, um, I'm messing up my metas because of how long I've been playing. But yeah, Double Decoder was useful because the idea was that whatever other decoder it was, you had the mechanic who was supposed to get kite. Mechanic was not exactly a decoder in the sense where she's the one decoding. It was her bot, which is why her like quote unquote passive thing with like where she's injured. And she loses like 45% decoding. That was due to her not actually being the one to decode. She was the kiter. So yep. the, the plan was that you have the other decoder hide or whatever, or like not really fuck around. You have mechanic take the kite. Mechanic has the kite. Now you have the other decoder decoding. Mechanic just has to last 45, 50 seconds, force out a trait, hopefully. Now she decodes with her bot. And then the rescuers, the merc, the gravekeeper, or the the the, the gravekeeper forward, whatever, they were the ones that would like fuck around. And usually it was gravekeeper who finished cipher first because forward harasses, and uh, that's how you basically won your game. Like that team comp was so broken. And honestly, if you tried it now, it will still probably have decent results because it's still a really good team comp and uh, plan. Um, but there's just I don't know. I actually don't. I actually don't really know why I got faced out. But um yeah. Mech nerfs yeah. plus the hunters. Well, mech nerfs too, but like it can still work. I mean th this in was theory. back in the day before uh before decoding with bot locks the progress. That is <laughs> true. Uh 
Next up is so, Magician. Magician. I have him at A. Is, isn't, he, him isn't he A? A? I have high him A. at A. High A. Very high A. His containment is His uh, containment actually. Is... I'm pretty Bro, sure against most. He's pretty good. I mean, maybe against Wax Artists he would struggle a bit. Just because of uh, Wax Artists, you know? I don't really have much to say other than that. He's really good. Opera I can and that's like the hunter right now, so what is happening? I don't know. What's I I seem to be the nice to you, I feel like Guys What? Why why are we arguing? Can y'all just be like actual okay. adults, please? Please. Like What do you mean? Question I mark. I don't get why I feel uh like Enchanter should maybe be an A or S. We'll get to her when we get to her. Magician is an A smiles because he is a solid kiter. Uh, so solid standalone kiter. Um, also, with the hunters that are more prevalent right now, with the opera singer, he he like he actually hard counters her. Um, to because like sh for her to get out of her shadow, she has to swing. So if he like gets into a pallet, puts his wand down, she can't get out of that unless she goes all the way around or swings, which uh, can buy her a time or can buy him time. So. It's not exactly because he's really good, even though he has received some nice buffs. Like, now he doesn't get terror shots when he gets hit anymore, um, if he uses a stick. But it's, he's, like, not S, um, because, uh, well, he's just not, but the Hunters are making him stronger now. Similar to Gardner and Lucky Guy, who before were, like, considered some of the worst. Thieves should have been bumped out to be, yeah, me and Malcolm were saying that. Malcolm said high B, I said low A, like, lowest of low A. Just... This is going low. That's why he's there. It's not like generally he's yeah. A, it's just like... He, he has his situations where he can be like really effective, especially against shit like opera and wax artists, and you gotta respect that. If uh, you wanna hear about that, you can always just rewind, because I, yeah. I gave my opinion on why he should be like high, high B. Uh, are we good with uh, yeah, Mage? Yeah, we're good with Mage. Okay. Next we Next have Explorer. I, I, sure. I have Explorer at B, like mid B. I feel like he's uh, low B. Because, uh, it's not exactly, you can't really hide anymore with the, the introduction of Naya because she just fucking makes a huge abyss, especially in area selection. Um, <laughs> you, 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 like, you, you're, you're dead as fuck, uh, against the Naya. Um, area selection really killed Explorer. Uh, other than that, I mean, Opera Singer, he doesn't do shit versus her. I mean, actually, aside, is that really uh, true? No, uh, aside from hi the hiding aspect and the mind game of it, because she could, like, in theory, he can overlap but, himself but over some shadows and whatnot, which only oh. enhances hiding. But it's also oh. a double-edged sword because she, since she's on the shadow, if she like sees you or bumps into you, you're just fucked. Like, there have been lots I mean, of cases where explorers just like hide, and the opera singer's there, like going back and forth trying to find what the fuck is ringing her tinnitus, which is why, like people use her and just use explore on like leo's memory and that's about it when they're gonna face the opera yeah, because he's like occasionally used i think he's only worth, i think he's uh, only b to. he's only he's only worth b he has his niches and he's like not that once, I, once i had a friend uh What's this, had, this, this wow. is a this is tell a ranked me, tier list this is a ranked tier list chat tell me opera singer isn't op it's just that i need to learn how to type when literally lose to her i said that she just said they can basically set them on him. Well, oh. that's why you're no longer friends with her, I guess. Good job. Yeah. Uh, next one, I guess. <clears throat> oh, mercenary. Um, Ooh, this one yeah. is gonna be controversial. This one is gonna. This one is gonna be controversial. Mid. I feel mid A. Mid. Mid A. Mid, mid A. Mid A. Mid A. Mid, and, mid, and I'm gonna be honest. A. I'm gonna be honest. I have. I think I have Gardener over him. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> I have Gardener yes. over Merc. I have, I have Gardener tier. over Merc. Mid A tier. Yup, I have Gardener Mid over Merc. Rank. Oh, I hate all of you. I have, I have him over Merc. He has been nerfed to the fucking ground so much. It's like almost. It, it's not. Like, it's pointless. It, there used to be. There used to be a moment in this game, right, when Merc wasn't banned. You auto locked him, or you auto locked forward. We are no longer in that time frame, so I can't make a case for him being Esther anymore. There are times when I'm playing IDV, and my first thought is, huh, we need a rescuer. Who should I play? 
journalist. Not mercenary. <laughs> I, I play journalist. Journalist, I feel like, is better than him nowadays. Um, because, I mean, well, he can probably kite. He he has a more reliable uh, uh, kiting, uh, kiting potential. More kiting potential. However, if journalist does her hits all three of her like dolls, she's gonna live longer than a mercenary. Furthermore, yeah. she also has her rescue doll. And if you're not an an entire bot. Right, you can use one of your pallet clones to block a hunter's hit. I got clips of me doing it forty billion times, I have and then clips you get on the my speed TikTok boost. Doing it too, like. you you get you get the speed boost from the doll. Helps you get to the chair faster. You rescue clean. You rescue clean. You're out of there. Not to mention, then, if you if, don't want to use the rescue doll, you can just use a regular doll, aim it at the chair to give yourself a movement speed buff on top of the yes. extra speed boost that you get from the doll actually getting hit. Right, because a lot of people, I think, I feel like a lot of people don't realize that when you put your doll down as journalist, you get a movement speed uh, buff similar to Enzo, similar to Enzo. And uh, what you can do, since I think they recently buffed journalists in a way where she doesn't have to put her clone down on a pallet, she can just tap it in a straight, and it will just run in a straight it'll line. Just, yeah, no, it'll just run in a straight line. It won't auto lock to like the nearest pallet. It will just go and straight. So, right, and so and. and I mean, I just feel, well, this isn't supposed to be about journalists, but Merck just, he's just, been, he's just received so many fucking nerfs. He used to have six elbow pads. Then he got, that was back when he was a kiter. Then he got reworked to a rescuer. Now he's got five elbow pads. Then he got um, four. Then he got four. His, his passive, his bleed out passive used to be, what was it? Fucking uh -huh. 30 seconds per hit. Was it? Yeah. I think yeah. it was 30 seconds per, it took you 30 seconds just to get your first injury tick. Um, then they nerfed it to 15, they nerfed it to 15, and then now it's like, what, 9? Pro, what is it now? Now it's, it's 8 seconds. 8 seconds. It's 8 seconds now. I'm actually it's 8 seconds. Upset Why, that. how is Magician and Thief in A tier? Rewind to where they are. Rewind. I, we really can't, like, uh, we, yeah. we talk about it. Okay. Uh, it depends. Okay, I would say Journalist is better. I, I mean, I guess Hunter's like Bon Bon, obviously Journalist is better, right? Um, anyway, so back to back to Merc and Journalist now. I think Moonlit's a different case for them. A, a Moonlit, you... sure, but... Listen, you know I'm Merc's number one defender, okay? I know, but you're... I... you're I, know, I, I know, I know why you do with the point, okay? I'm just saying. No, I, mean, I like... know. You know, my baby. Yes, Pearl, Merc is the best. Just came back and seeing Thief in A is kind of crazy. I mean, ranked wise, like it, it, Thief, Thief right now, he's either for me personally, I have him at low A because I respect the things that he can do to the meta hunters, but I can also see why you would have him in like lowish B or high B, yeah. low A. Like, I can see why you would put it because it's also just too much of a niche. It's a niche, but sometimes you can't just generalize characters down to that, yeah. like stuff. like. People would put journalists lower, but like, you, they underestimate her clone really hard. Yeah. Well, that was mercenary. Yeah. My baby. Uh, mage above forward? Yeah. Yeah. Right yep. now in this meta. Right now in this meta with better. the hunters, he just doesn't. He doesn't. Coordinator's next now. Ooh. Coordinator. I would say high A tier. Isn't she? Isn't she? Would, a, isn't she like above Merc, below Gardner? I on consistency, I, mean, I think so. Consistency, yeah. Yeah, I think right in between those two. Right in between those two. Slap her right in between. Yeah. She's just consistent. She just does her job. If she needs to be a rescuer, she can be a rescuer. She has the gun. I was a I was a I was a D one coordinator hater. You can look back at old videos and old streams. I was a D1 cord hater, but I gotta respect what she can do. Above Merc, yes. Because you also need to understand, you have to look at it also from a Cypher Rush perspective. Remember, yeah. Merc has the already inherent rescuer debuffs, and then as well, he also has them shitty fucking healing debuffs. Which means when your mercenary gets fucked and gets hit consistently, you it is going to bite you in the ass so much that it is going to make it near impossible to rebound. We also have to consider the, uh, well, the hunter meta, it, like, uh, it seems like it's repetitive, but like a lot of 
why these characters are in different spots than expected is because of not them exactly themselves, but because of the hunters. Right now, Mercenary, if he were to go against an opera, I'm not certain that he can last as long as a, co a coordinator. Yep. With uh, coordinators, like things around like the palette, I forgot how that works. There's like a whole cooldown where she gets like her own like fake like knee jerk or whatever. Yeah. Um, because of that, like she's able to just live longer than a mercenary can. Plus, she also has her gun. Um, that speed boost that they gave right. her is game changing. Right. So, so um, isn't yeah. that high? I disagree with that only because if you play a kiting cord in ranked, you will outperform a regular mercenary in ranked any day of the week. You will always outperform a mercenary regular day of the week because you will outkite the merc and you will and you will actually will have a more secure rescue than the mercenary. Mercenary eats your your Terms merc gets of, your merc gets terror shot. Okay, he's still because gets of the just rescue. His broken that is the, exactly. He gets terror shot. He gets he has his broken passive where he takes delayed damage. That's cool, but now it's still a double down situation and now two people are now not decoding and now a third person needs to stop decoding to then go rescue the person while the merc who has the slowest fucking healing in the game then also needs to waste time picking himself up yeah. not to mention yeah. her rebound is better merc burns his items faster coordinator still has the better decoding anyway so she can she doesn't get chased she can still promote cypher rush because her only debuff is when someone's on chair and in ranked when you're especially solo queue that is so much more valuable than just being able to tank hits and then after that just going off and dying because you're hurting the team even if you're doing your job yeah meat shield merc was good like three years ago when uh 30 was it what 30 percent share time yup where you could die you oh my god where you, when you when you when merc could literally die in 20 seconds and you could still walk out with a three man bro like it's insane bringing full snooze with the 30 percent share time oh my i love doing that it was so funny this bitch brought snooze on mercenary. Listen, I, you just, know, they, I just played me till and died. Like they need to fucking bring back three six nine. Three six nine on mercenary was yeah. so good. Oh my god. So good. Anyways, mechanic. Ooh. Uh, uh, I have her mid B. Uh, I want to say hi sure. B, but I gotta agree. I gotta agree. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm's like <laughs> Malcolm's a, Malcolm's like you, but with mech. He, this, like Mecca's his baby. Bro, Mecca's ah, uh, ah, uh, she, I, she used to be a decoder. Now she's a fucking paperweight, bro. She's just there, like she has her niche, and that's the bot. But like the bot goes away, and then she's just actually useless. Like, if, like, were, if, were, if it were competitive, she could be better. If it were competitive, she could be better because you could con you could control the healing. But in solo queue rank, it's impossible. Like for Mech to really shine. She needs her team to play around her and play around the, the her her like uh debuff with Mono, the injuries thank you and for shit. The dono. Thank thank you for the dono moon. Thank you for the dono. I appreciate it a lot. That's awesome. That would they really I really wish they could on. buff mech, but yeah. I don't know. Mech mech era is kinda over. It's kinda done, like yeah. It just hurt so bad because they nerfed her bot horribly oh, and then they yeah. kept the shitty fucking <laughs> they kept the main shitty body. Main debuff, body like, like, it doesn't compensate anymore like it, it's before it was fine because the bot was busted and now it's trash and so is your main body so it's like oh. what's the point of playing her nutties listen listen nutties please if you're gonna have mech's bot killed she should gain back a percentage of her decoding on her main body every time her bot gets killed i yeah, think that is so beyond that, that would be right? so fair that is actually fair stuff so fair next up like, we have please. <laughs> Next up, we have Mind's Eye, uh, bottom of D tier. She actually gets her Yo, e she is E tier. Yeah. She gets yeah. E tier. She, uh... E tier. <laughs> Hold on. All, all you Mind's Eye fans, this is why I didn't want to make this tier list because I know she, some things about to be her. E -tier. But she, she is, is only e actually hot shit. She is the only E tier survivor. The only E tier survivor. Because with Doctor, at least you get a syringe from her chair when she dies, but Mind's Eye literally just dies in 20 seconds and, and gives nothing. Actually. Mind's Eye's job, every time you lock her in, is to go find a Cypher, slap your cane, 15 seconds later, the Hunter's on your ass. How do they know? No, Hunter can hear your cane, bro. <laughs> right? Like, Not to mention, every time cane. you walk, the Hunter can hear the cane just like, click, 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 like. click, click, click. The smallest niche she has is area selection hospital. 
Yeah, that is like actually her smallest niche. But either way, like, even, there's no point in bringing even, up Mind's Eye. Wh what do you mean? Because I, the amount of, okay, this isn't exactly the Mind's Eye character, it's the players, right? Because yeah. they'll still select Hospital and die. But then 15 seconds later, they're outside a hospital over in Statue. Okay. Like, all right. No, I don't know what you're saying. They never, use it. they never they never use the areas they spawn in and then they're like, Why right? did I die so fast? Why did I die? Okay. You're locking in a bad character. You're locking in a if e okay, let's say that you really like Fine's Eye. Fine. We can't force you to pick who you don't want to pick. Right. Why are you lock why are you bringing Tide Turner? Why? <laughs> Mind's Eye is S tier, it's what do you mean? It's always Mind's Eye bringing Tide Turner. Thank I've you. yet to see a broken window or a Moon flywheel Mind's Eye. Moon with the second eye. dono. I'd rather see, like, Stewie Mind's Eye than Tide. Than Tide's Eye, because I don't, I don't understand. I don't know. I, I don't get the logic between playing Tide Mind's Eye. I just don't. You suck at kiting. You can only decode. Why are you running Tide Turner? Like, you're going to do anything against the Hunter. The hunter is gonna no, see no, 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 you go. You. You're gonna get the rescue, and then they're gonna chase you, and then kill you, and then that's it. You're useless. Right? You shouldn't be coming in for rescue anyway. If the hunter doesn't chase you, then they're dumb, and they're gonna get cipher rushed. Tide's eye was like Tide's eye was done in season two because there was like a troll build on Mind's Eye. That's the only reason why why we did it in season two, season three. Sorry, season three. Like, oh, I remember those days. So. Season three, like people would bring uh, Tide's eye. To, to troll the match like it's it was not a real thing so like when i see people actually bring in tide and they're saying it's good it's good it's good it's good because it's a troll build anyways someone asked is painter and embalmer a good combo um uh, i don't really know i don't know i don't I really see the synergy i don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see, see the it. synergy it's like I, the only thing i could see technically is if you because of painter's um passive with the if you coffin right and he has like 10 percent on chair and he gets cheered again and he's still at 10 percent. that's like the only way you can see it next up we have priestess so mm, I'm, I'm low gonna s be, i'm gonna be i was gonna put her at high a how is no, that i think low s just because the level exists Okay, that's fair. I'm putting her at. I was gonna put her at low at high A simply because of the fact when I'm thinking of Priestess and Solar Rank, I'm not thinking of her like she's setting up support portals or some shit. She's just you know, no. You can't do that. that. That's that's player that's player knowledge. That's, yeah. Also, a little bit of a side note, but if you see a Priestess in your matches, it might be a good idea to look for portals when you're kiting and yeah. uh, use them because they uh, are probably there to save your life. <clears throat> Okay, but even against an opera though, like Priestess doesn't perform that well. She has like two portals in the beginning of the game. They take that's, that's why she's low S because uh, she she used to be like high S, but I think she's low S. You know? Yeah, opera singer literally like fucked the meta. What about down. wax artist? We're not talking about him. Right now. And then Fool's um, <laughs> I, a... I do want to mention that the reason why I think she's low S is because. She can cipher rush like a badass. Like Priestess okay. is like a borderline decoder because oh. you hit your yellows and your, your debuff doesn't matter. What? Well, it's not that. No, what are you talking about, Zeus? No, Come no, on, no, no. I, bro. I, I know like, about bro. the. Listen, listen, no, but listen. You see how easy it is to get in mad chat. You see how easy it is to get in mad. Cause I expect more from you, idiot. Bro, well, I wanted to get you mad because it's funny. Aww. Is this like a moment? Are we sharing a no, moment? No, 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 we aren't. <laughs> anyway, but no. Okay, I can. I, I'll, I'll, yeah, I can. Okay, I can settle for Priestess Lois. Below Lo well, like, a metal did... game where lawyer is higher than Priestess. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. Uh, but yeah, no Priestess. Ideally, in most situations, she just globals to the rescuer when the rescuer has to go rescue or if even if not even earlier, she takes over the rescuer cipher. Rescuer then goes starts another cipher. She finishes Rescuer Cypher, goes back to finish hers, and now you have four Cyphers during the first kite. Oh, busted. And if, I love and it. if first kite goes well, by the time first chair is up and they're on second chair, your, your final Cypher is like already 50%. Can you still can you... take Global with Tide? Yes. Yes, you that's can. That's the broken part. That is the broken part. You can still take Global with Tide Turner. And in some cases, you can. Chat, if you didn't know, on the rare occasion that you time it correctly, 
you can flywheel the hunter's hit on your mirror image when they are trying when you go through global and you can stay alive it's very rare right. but you can it's do about it three seconds if you guess when they hit right you count three seconds and you flywheel and uh they don't even get presents from it either it's crazy <laughs> thank you for the two dollar dono toxic <laughs> priestess is ss tier bro <laughs> not anymore buddy who knows Early uh, perfumer i have perfume. Uh, i have perfumer low mm. I would be. Um, be. be. Just like... because nowadays hunters like they snowball hard off presence. Also, wax artists exist. Um, night watch exists. That is exists. fair. Night watch. I guess I'm just I'm just dick sucking opera too hard. Specifically against opera, she would be higher. But but like... also the presence feeding is where like that's why the presence feeding like that's the main reason why like when they used and like this is just a random tangent but in IVL they use perfumer and mage I would always prefer mage over perf because if she gets hit in between perfume cooldown she's worthless she's actually like as useful as a rock yeah she can't use her item for rebound either unlike a mage exactly. then why'd you say H then if you if that's what your stance is because I was dick sucking up <laughs> I explained oh. this. Okay. So do we want her in between really explorer? B. Like, and I say B. Or? Oh, uh, like where I think maybe she's better in between. In between. In between. In between. I, think. Actually, I, th I think yeah. mechanic is just more consistent, at least in a perfect. Oh. Mechanic has her niches with the draw. Yeah. That's still kind of iffy though, because like, Hunter just hits bot and runs. Wait, okay, whatever. Next up, we have dancer. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I think she's better than Mage. Why consider opera counterplay and solo rank when she's banned like 90% of the time anyway? Because you still need to like take into account the fact that she is the best hunter in the game. Like you can't disrespect a character who counters the best hunter in the game. Because then it wouldn't right? be an accurate list. It's like, it's like back in the day when Dream Witch was the most prominent ban. When people would make tier lists, like you would still always have to, to take into account how they would face Dream Witch. Because on the off chance that you have like a character that sucks ass against Dream Witch in like S tier or A tier and they get shit on by the best hunter in the game, well then you gotta update that list. You can't play from rank bands, you know? Like what if there's like your your shitty randoms ban Anne? Yeah, I'm how many uh, chat, how many of you have had people ban Anne and Nyad or Ripper? <laughs> Cause Ripper? I've seen it too much. Cause I've seen it too many times in my mid in my mid tier sessions when I play. Oh, Hunter. low tiers love banning Joseph and Fool's Gold. Bro, yeah. they be banning like uh, Hermit. What's with the Hermit bans, huh? Hey, hey no that? disrespect on the Hermit ban. Oh, oh, he's just he just bro. takes he's just annoying. Regardless, he's so cancer. Anyway, dancer. Um, I want to put dancer at like mid A. Mm, I would say maybe low, yeah. mid to low A. I want to put her at. I think is it maybe hiding wise, yes, but I think her support I've, is just oh. Good. I wanna I wanna put her like right around like in between Lucky Guy and Gardener, or like right in between. Gardener I agree. And Cord. Lucky Guy Gardener. In between Gardener and Lucky Guy, probably. I, yeah. I think she's better than Gardener just because she has more use overall compared to Gardener. Um. Yeah. Where her boxes support the twirl, the drop down speed bonus that you get. Mm -hmm. So it's like she has more in her arsenal than a Gardener. Ow. Yeah, no, I can agree with that. Boxes, slow boxes are just too broken. Chat, for the love of God, never use fast boxes, please. I hate them so much. Even at the gate, bro. Like, what if the hunter teleports? Exactly. Like, do not use please, just, 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 just only religiously use slow boxes. I beg. I beg of you. I'm still an and banner. You are a part of the problem. I'm joking, but no. I have a friend who bans Jojo in rank for some reason. I'm gonna only use fast box talks if you troll. Next we have Cowboy. <laughs> Ooh, this one's gonna be controversial. Ooh. This one is gonna be controversial. I don't know. I don't know. Before I, you I, say I, I'm not I, gonna talk. I'm not I, gonna talk because I, I, I don't know. Before I, you say anything, uh talk about his buff. Or dirt, whatever you want to call it. I adjustment. I call it like a buff only in the sense of I'm thinking of harassment of not as how long they can kite, but more or less of how much time is wasted from the hunter. Oh, for sure. I mean, so ugh, like, like for like me, the yeah. So it's like for me, I have him at high B. I don't think he's anywhere near A. I have him at high B. No. 
high b for sure i have him high b simply because of the fact like what having one tap lasso like you can't deny that having one tap lasso is broken you just can't it's broken no it is you, you no, can't, one tap is broken you can't deny that having one tap, like having being able to frame one rescue a survivor away from the hunter and buy another 30 seconds three times per match like that is insanely busted oh yeah like it like it's busted you have to respect that you you have to but at the same time, the survivor coming off knocked and only having like their struggling speed increase, it 15. doesn't give you it doesn't give you a lot to work with because then you as the cowboy are thinking, okay, well I kind of need to fuck up my routing now to like take you to an area where you could maybe struggle out because we don't know if the hunter has giant claw or if there's another chair that's close or if X, Y, and Z could happen. It's but, like, assuming, oh, but, but, but assuming assuming they aren't playing with that in mind though we do have to also consider that the hunter could or not the hunter the cowboy could just like keep him on his back because yeah. when he first got his like i don't even know if it's a buff or whatever uh he like i thought like he'd just insta drop you but he can carry on your shoulder and then he can kite yeah for, for you yeah so prisoner maybe next it is worth with it. your opinions thank you for the two dollar don't know shoot my uh I, sure then we'll skip over to prisoner yeah uh, i don't know i don't I, know I, how to feel about it because like before the before this he used to just balloon rescue and you could run run away which was like broken if you were playing a female character because then you could stand yeah, his back and then and not get and TS not damage. Get hit at all like he'll just eat all the damage for you um but i, I don't know I don't know how to put him. I, I, I think you guys. I, I think I'm gonna have him I, at like I want to have him at mid. B. I think I'd still have mech over him though. Oh, okay. It depends on map because if you're thinking yeah. about it from like this is like solo rank, right? But if we're talking like the like red church strat when you're on the, where man you're comes. on yeah, and then you're on like and you're in cowboy corner as it's notoriously yeah. called, like then yeah. And like, everyone's bringing max struggle. It's like it's like what are you guys the hunter gonna do? <laughs> like. Uh, I don't know. He's such a tough rank. Nah, he's just just put him. I think above I'll just mech, put him, I guess. I, I'll just put him above mech then. Sure. Wait, isn't he borderline better than Thief though? Borderline better? I wouldn't say. I Thief, wouldn't say because Thief had abilities is just the, canceling the hunter's abilities is just too broken. <laughs> okay. Is, Next uh, one, Seer. Right, oh, Steve. mid low A. Seer. Oh, wait, no, no, no. You, no, no. You're skipping. You're skipping Priz. Remember? Oh yeah, Priz. My fault, gang. Uh, my fault. I'm stupid for that one. Prisoner. Um, I'm gonna have. <laughs> what is there about B. Prisoner? B. B. For sure. He. I wouldn't say he provides nothing for the team, but it's close to nothing. His I, chase is like fine, I guess, but the one second stun, if you're not, if you're using it in the open, it does shit. So, um, I put prisoner C tier. <laughs> C tier? Like, I'm cool with that. He's, he's fair. His connection is like, oh my god, he's like mechanic, but not he's, really. The only coder, but he brings mech. Abby, he what was you good when uh he was good or better when breaking wheel was um like SS tier. Almost and he, annoying. Could can he could cancel his full presence. That was when prisoner was probably at his like best. His but right now, like he's kinda bad against like Nightwatch or like like Wax, like the the meta hunters. And he's a decoder, but he loses progress sending through connection and it's just compared to other decoders, he's definitely like lackluster. Like lawyer and Mac, they're all like way better than him. Even composer. So. Yeah, composer's <laughs> better than him. Explorer's better than him. Like besides Mind's Eye, like <laughs> it's probably one of the worst <laughs> decoders. Like maybe back then he was a good, but now he's just falling off. Yep. Prisoner C tier. You know, like, if you're surfing just... in low tier, he's fun, but. <laughs> There's so many hunters that counter him nowadays, like Wax Artist and free like BQ. The only way he's good against Wax okay. is the connection on the Wax Cipher, but he just TSM disconnects it. Of course, Eli, yeah. I have to send the agenda. I have to send it. Actually, matter of fact, Mind's Eyes in Z tier. 
<laughs> bro. Negative tier. <laughs> Mine's always just getting sent to the abyss, bro. She's it's a insane. negative Z tier. <laughs> That's great. Can we right. Chandra tier next? No. Wait, Seer. We got Seer. We're just going in order. Yeah. Right. I'm, I have Seer at um, mid to low A. B tier. B? I would say low A. B tier for me. This fucker. Because didn't they make it a thing where if he gives his owl to someone else, the hunter's attack speed is like 30%. 20. I think it's 50. Yeah, it's 30? It's, 30, it's 30. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's terrible. Now, he's a support character. Guys, don't get it twisted. Seer is not a Sleep well. She's Thank meant to be coming. a... Seer is meant to be a supporting character. Okay? Who can kite, similar to barmaid, similar to priestess, and dancer. Well, dancer, I guess, is more of a container. Anyways. But, like, he gets one out. He gives it away. It doesn't last the original 15 like it used to. Nerf down to eight, eight seconds. seconds. Now when the owl gets hit, they attack, they recover even faster. So, the window to, to hold the owl is shorter. The recovery from the owl is now shorter. How can the person who's supposed to get the help, like, actually make it work, you know? Like, especially against Opera Singer, especially against Fool's Gold, who's got his fucking 30 meter dash now. Night Watch, <laughs> like, and his also, and his passive too from the out getting hit. He vaults slower. It's unplayable. And then yeah. also, Waxar is counter, hard counters him. Um, Opera Singer Naya just is like 50 50. Night, Opera uh, Singer is fuck you to the owl. Oh, like, she just uh, says, I'll just take the owl for the presence and then chase you again. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm not. Oh, off. that was scary. Sweet. That was a jump scare. Yeah. What up, what? Psyche? Fake Psyche? Psyche? I'm pretty sure it's fake Psyche. Psyche. I'm pretty sure it's Eli. Isn't that Eli? That is Eli. -O. Is it? Wow, what are you? Psyche? <laughs> because no. He... no, that I is Eli. Eli that is Eli. O. that's Eli. O. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's him. I said it was a no, fake Psyche. Sure. Thank oh, you for paying Psyche. attention. <laughs> Thank you for paying attention, Pearl. I appreciate Thank it. You. You're welcome. <laughs> Me checking Discord live on stream just to check. Mech significantly stronger than Priz. Thank you. Okay, what's yeah. your yes, number one? I think Seer is B tier. Genuinely. Exactly. A lot of people dick suck Seer just because, oh, oh, Owl, owl. Uh, three yeah. hits. People like dick suck Seer. I think off. people dick suck Seer because of what he used to be. They aren't like paying attention to what he, to what he can do now. Seer used to be so broken he could farm another owl while he had an owl on his back. That's how broken he used to be. But it's not like that anymore. I w bro, I'm There's no honest, need to I be banning Seer. Back. I want him to come back like that, bro. Give him back the fact that he can farm an owl while having an owl, please. The presence feed in this meta yeah. is just... Hey, what if I... what I always hit the owl because presence. It does give presence, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fine. You should, that's what, you should, you should hit should, the owl. You should hit the owl. It's free presence for you. Helps you I mean, more. well, it's 50 50. Like, if you can't, it's like, if it's a strong area, well, because presence, then hit the owl because you're probably not gonna get, you're not, probably not gonna get a hit afterwards because yeah. it's a strong area. But if it's like a bad area, you could probably wait. I don't know. It's up I to you. I just want to say one thing before I go to sleep. Little girl's SSS tier. No, she isn't. Sorry. Hate to tell you. <laughs> Especially for solo queue. If we're talking with solo queue, definitely not. Uh, <laughs> would um, I have Cowboy over Seer and Mech? I mean, would I, I, have, would I, would I have Cowboy and Mech over Seer? No. Yeah. No, 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 in between, in between, in between, in between, in between. In between. Yeah, yeah, because I'm like, uh, really, if I will find you, like... watch out, Zeus, find me. I dropped my IP address for four months straight. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Wait, yo, Eli, I know you got like good connections with the devs. I'm gonna need you to put in a good word for mechanic, pretty please. Right. And maybe Seer, <laughs> I don't know. Also, uh, also, Barman needs a buff, I think, you know. <clears throat> All right, let's relax. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, get 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 the pen out, please. Like, I mean, Why don't you know. Up? How, how would they even I'm just saying, her? I'm just saying, buff Dream Witch, buff Barmaid, Mech buff Seer. Barmaid, so her drink takes eight seconds. Five, let's make it five, huh? Zero five. counterplay, I like that. This <laughs> is stupid. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh my god. Anyway, we're on to Embalmer. I, uh, uh, I, have him in, I have him in mid to low A. I think he could be high A. Maybe. Yeah. I think high A, and it's a stretch if you say low S. 
but I think it could be possible. Period. I think with Boa's suicide little, build, I, I think with Boa's suicide build, he could be insane. Like if you know how to rock height with suicide build in Bomber, it's over. It, it could be. It could actually be clip. It could actually be clip. Hunter the cannot chase if, you. Lock themselves into a draw, or they're forced to bring TP. If they don't chase you, you give your teammate coffin, and I, people just keep decoding the whole game. Yeah. I think, especially, it, like, I have it, I have it. If you have a team comp that just synergizes really well with uh, Embalmer, I think he's a he's just monster. So, he's so strong, dude. Oh, good. He's so Embalmer's so strong. A, actually a very strong character, and it pains me that I got all, all these Embalmer simps that don't know how to fucking play him. Yeah. I love him. If you are in solo oh. queue, stop hiding on your fucking coffin, please. Yeah. I'm begging you. <laughs> please. Couldn't you use that same <laughs> logic of Seer to farm to owls? The difference with Seer to farm, the difference with the whole Seer farming owls thing is that when Seer farms owls, he's actively feeding presents to the hunter while also then debuffing his own kiting. So you're hurting owls. yourself for kiting well in the long run. When you could just, in theory, keep raw kiting well and then not use your owls at all. So that way you can keep the kiting at the same level instead of having to deal with a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50% debuff, etc. However high it goes. Yeah. It caps at 50. Bomber, it caps at 50. Where yeah. would you put in Bomber, genuinely? Because in Yo, this, the, meta, in this he's meta... For, he's for sure A. He's for sure he's A. For sure a. He's, he's for sure A tier. Actually, he's D tier. What are you guys on? You, 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 you can go back quiet. to being go back to being here. muted, bro. Go back to being muted, please. Thank you, Eugene. <laughs> the amount of games that an embalmer coffin can just change by setting up like a position for the survivor oh to actually god. kite, like it's crazy. Especially with all the main. Game? Oh my god, oh Pearl! My god. Yo, that, that match was so just good. Bliss. Oh my god, Pearl, so that match good. was so blissful. That match like actually had us peaking. Embalmer has so many good like. She's cheer and embalmer. Like, you can die basement as embalmer and it won't fucking and matter. It won't, like, and, it won't, and it won't fuck up the team. Like, it won't. Like, you can kite in basement. Like, if hospital basement, you can fucking die basement. And I you just teleport to Shaq. I thought he was just someone you bust out to force ties. He is, but he can also be aggressive enough to force wins. That's the thing. If you play yeah. with an embalmer, he can force a tie. But if you play well enough, like let's say like you're solo queuing as embalmer and you get blessed with the good randoms, you can then play hyper aggressive and force a win. Like what we've done before when we were four stacking, like last year when we would abuse the fuck out of embalmer, we would abuse we would abuse embalmer forward in ranked. Oh because yeah. Because all because all I would do is just harass without a care in the world because i know i'm embalmed and if the hunter chairs me to swap targets then i get sent across the map and the hunter has now no chase target and we get free resets we get to decode for free and the hunter has to reset chase now either that or like you can what i used to do when i played in bomber is i was uh, super hyper aggressive obviously this is like borderline comp because we're talking about four man comms but like if you know the first what i had was i had my first tight my first kiter, like, run past me. I would start a cypher, get it to 30, get to 40, whatever. Say, kiter, come past me. Kiter passes me. Get your face on the first kite. You go decode a new cypher, you pass him. They kite where you were decoding, doesn't matter. Your rescuer comes, uses tide. You have them, you have their image ready. Then you are basically, now, You in the beginning, you were running towards each other. Now, once they're chaired, you're running away from each other. You put their coffin down. They're kiting over at Shaq on lakeside. You're cutting out, you're, you're decoding over at Big Rock. Boom, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. You know, there's there's a lot you can do. You can even move it to a Big Boat if you have enough time. But like, as long as you're being attentive with Embalmer, um, you can do it in solo queue. That's why I think he's A, uh, a tier. Uh, low S. And he could be low S if you're, I, in, yeah, comms. If you're, if you're in comms. But low, but, 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 but low S is a stretch. It Whoa, is a stretch. Yeah, it is a very it's a stretch, but it's with comms and like characters that would synergize with him really well. Yeah. I uh, think Embalmer goes right in between Dancer and Gardener. I would argue Embalmer, but Dancer. But I, I, I would. I would. I. It's up to you guys, honestly. I, I think. I think both are fair. I think, but I think they're interchangeable. Dancer and Embalmer. They both provide sure. like I, the same. And I would. I would argue Embalmer better just because he's better on better more more maps 
than that's Dancer. Fair. That's fair. He can be used on... Oh, shit. He's useless. She's useless on Moonlight, in my opinion, just because it's too open for box support. Mm -hmm. um, Versus Embalmer. Embalmer. Can, like, completely destroy. Crazy shit. Even Red Church and Embalmer against certain hunters like Bonbon or Mad Eyes. It's not the it's worst crazy. thing ever. Yeah, it's like a specific counterplay to those characters. I am Embalmer's number one defender. <laughs> my boy. So now Next we have one. Prospector. Uh. Eight, where's mid, zero when you mid need him? B. I, I'd say I'd say high B, I would high say B, low high, A, high, yeah, somewhere around there. After the nerf, man. Yeah. Yo, Loki. Maybe we should knock down and uh, explore the C tier. I ain't gonna lie to you, but high, above Perth. High key. <laughs> high key. Yeah, explore. <laughs> Not gonna high game. Get an adjusted back there. I, I think Prospector. I, I think Prospector, Prospector should have been. Prospector should still be S tier, high A. But like the the perma nerfs they've been giving to him is just unfair to him. Um, but we have to play with these nerfs, so I feel like. Also, Clerk Prospector is only really strong during um, Clerk meta because before Clerk meta it was still Dream Witch. Yep. Uh, and he was ass during Dream Witch. Um. I always so, worked, to be honest, when I'm ranking as a bomber, I felt peace and I was just climbing right because it works. Like, a bomber is that good. The bomber's and bomber solid. He's a, a low key, he could be like one of those uh, solo queue champions because if you do a bad kite, hopefully you're far away from your coffin, you just you know rescue yourself. But uh, exactly. that, that's just for a bomber. Um, I'm off gold now for the night, the night I've seen. Not having to rely on your teammates is pretty useful in solo queue. Yeah. Uh, for me, prospectors. I have him. At, I think I have him above Cowboy though. Uh, sure. Okay. Yes. I think maybe it's just because I prioritize yes. the the decoding more. Yeah, I agree. Next. So up, you, I mean, it's up oh. to you where you want, wherever you want to put him. I put him. At, oh, you I put, put him. him at, yeah, I put him in B. I okay. put him just top of B. Sure. I Next have, up. Uh, Enchantress. Oh boy. Uh C tier. C tier. C tier. C -tier. Hard course. C -tier. Hard C like She is all right in the beginning, but towards late game. Ass cheeks on a stick. It takes her too long to get stacks. Uh she got hard nerfed because of the geisha meta when Dong X was whooping out Geisha like every other round. Um Geisha when she had her couple of when her when she had her stint. When a uh, clerk was there, and uh, Enchantress was like popping up, but then devs were like, "Whoa, Enchantress, what's going on here?" And then she gets hard nerfed on her like on generating her stack speed. Now she's kind of ass. Like if they didn't nerf her, she'd probably be B tier. A B tier? B I was gonna no, say I, I was gonna say A tier. I, I think I was gonna say A tier. I was gonna say A. If she wasn't nerfed, hey, she wasn't it, nerfed. It, un if she wasn't nerfed, I would I would say it's here. Oh, but like it's just too unreliable for her roster because she has to be near the hunter already preemptively to get stocks. Like unless it's hermit and you're passively gaining stocks for harassment, it's it's too slow. Yeah. Like there's no It's not it's not for, social and even the stacks to be useful, it's like you want the three anyway. So for an, just... for an enchantress to like fully to actually like really succeed to like get like the full one hundred percent out of Enchantress, she needs to be healing people. Uh, she needs to heal people now more so than before because she just can't get them from the hunter by herself. So, but it takes, but like, again, the game isn't really balanced around healing. It's balanced around decoding, kiting, and rescuing, which kind of like fucks her over because, like, that's like the only other way she's gonna get them. Yeah, she gets rewarded so, when getting hit, which is moronic. Yeah. That's that was like another thing that kind of pissed me off. Like, she's wrote, she, like, if I play um, Seer, or whatever, and I don't have an owl, then shit, I'm just I shit out of luck. Yeah, but Enchantress I... gets her ability for getting hit. She's rewarded for playing like shit. Okay, bro. If She's Enchantress didn't get a stock when she got hit, she would literally be like negative F tier. <laughs> right next to mine, guy. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Name another survivor that gets rewarded for doing bad. I don't oh, no. think me. Uh, what? Okay. So... Okay. Now we have Wildling. Um, I have Wildling. In my opinion, I have him at he's I have eight. Him why? Why A, bro? Why A? Low A, okay. Low A. Yeah, but why? Just because Moonlight exists. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, anyways, 
Uh, B tier. Die, I have die all of you. I think my- I think Isn't he like- only, he like I, forward? I think the only genuine argument that there can be made for Wildling to be put in A tier is simply because of the fact of the tinnitus fucking, which could, in theory, extend kites because the hunter's not gonna know where somebody is, but even though there's 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 still spawn selection, so the hunter is still gonna know, so it's like, eh. But it's also the well, fact that she good. works like a ma- he work- uh, Wildling works like a makeshift mercenary. Except, he doesn't have the healing debuff, and doesn't yeah. really risk the double down as hard compared to Merc. Because of Boar. I was thinking about Opera, what they did in IVO with fake Merc. Wow. Yeah, yeah, but bro, we're talking about rank. rank. We're talking about Ugh. rank, sadly. His decoding is so bad. His decoding is the same as forwards. <laughs> it used to be worse. That shit was like 40. It was. It used to be worse. It used to be 40. But because of just like his kiting, like he has a movement speed debuff for whatever fucking reason, the only one in the game. That's so <laughs> he's dumb. The, oh, I think he's the only one in the game to have a movement speed debuff. Like, it's so stupid. And, yeah, be because of that, like, Opera and Nightwatch still fuck him over. Exactly. Maybe Wax okay. Artist, too, depending on, on um, breaking line of sight. Then the presence feed. Like, he, he's... I, I think I have him, like, right in between Cowboy and Seer. Okay, like Ooh, if maybe, 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 mechanic maybe a little... Wait. Mechanic and Perfumer sounds a bit more accurate. Mechanic, mechanic and Perfumer. I don't know. His ability as a rescuer and everything. Eh. I think he's. Okay, maybe mechanic and seer. Seer, yeah. Mechanic and seer. I think he's more utility than both of them. Than seer and mech. I I can agree with the utility aspect because the constant tonight is switching. It can do things like it can work. I I think I'm actually gonna. I think I'm gonna have him above seer. Okay. Next up is acrobat. One of the like, one of the like, S tier, ooh, S tier, like actually just straight S tier, straight S tier, <laughs> straight S tier. He he aged like fine wine. Like he's just uh, so good. I think he's I think he's below priestess though. Mm, yeah, most of that. Okay, nah. I'm gonna keep it now. Why are we putting him at the, the top? Bro? Because, I just <laughs> played, because, of, because I just put him there. Like we didn't I decide think he's on definitely, the, we didn't uh, decide on the placement yet. I just I'm pretty sure there. he's like. Yeah. But Acrobat, think, to, even after his nerf to his white ball, um, he's still really good. He's still good. Not yeah. to mention his kiting. Oh, the the white ball. His kiting is so good. You can uh, bring it just takes longer and to get still it. kite three ciphers. Yeah, yeah. it's so. Stupid. He's one of. That is true, actually. Like him and Patient, are, like one of the few that don't that are like should be kiters that should have broken or flywheel, but they can bring tide and still perform perfectly well. Like that cannot be overlooked. Plus the passives from his bombs, they that can be useful to, for buying a lot of time. Taking away the and then the nerf to slowing them down. The, the nerf to white bomb, which I briefly mentioned, all it was is that it takes him 50 50 percent longer to get yeah. it. So you just have to decode half a cipher. So it's okay, you know. Um, you miss one. Yeah, I think you, should, that's all it is. you shouldn't be using your balls to like hit the hunter like half of the time. More than not, you're using your balls just to kite. And you're setting yeah, up your like balls in the air. Yeah. yeah, exactly, where yeah. they can't avoid it. Like, if you put a red bomb in a tight corner against a wax artist, that's like, what, how long is that? Eight seconds he can't block you? Exactly. Yeah, I nobody, do wish, Maddie, geez, Maddie, a lot to of your people... point, I really do wish that people uh, would, like, I wish people on our server would, like, do away with the whole, oh, it's cute, it's pretty, like, So I'm gonna no. play it kind of thing. It's like, yeah, no. Play characters because they're good. Not because they look good. Like that, no, Z, that's, that's, that's unironically why. Fun, yeah, like they play the skin, like even in rank, it's just like, oh. They just don't like him because he doesn't look that aesthetically appealing compared to Prospector <laughs> and Prisoner. Yeah, but that, yeah, but then they're fucking Elk Mammoth saying, why am I hard stuck? Well, you play Mind's Eye, I'm sorry to tell you. Yep. Like, if, if you play, quote unquote, bad characters comparatively bad characters then i mean it's hard to argue for like why you should be higher tier and mage is good now so it's okay to play him i like aesthetically pleasing characters as long as you're content with the rank and you're not trying to climb then sure yeah, okay but okay why can't he be good characters be pretty like it's okay to be pretty sure it is okay to be pretty but the game isn't based around pretty it's based yeah, around it's based performing around, like, well 
Yeah, and the mechanics of the game. My doctor has gorgeous skins, but she's... <laughs> People will play mech rather than lawyer, even the lawyer's the better decoder in general, yeah. I think lawyer's just... I, uh, mm. I want to say that mechanic, mechanic is the better decoder in the sense that if she gets first kite and her doll's out, she can get it done. Whereas if lawyer fucks up and he dies, then he's useless. Uh, but that's like a moot point. Where were we at? Oh, after no, that. Where yeah, are, yeah, I think we covered it. Now we're at um officer. I think he's us here. Yeah. In this meta, yeah. S. S. Now where the do we? Only put him? His, o his I, only his real counter is is, is wax, wax artist. artist. Wax and and to an extent. Wax and and, but like and's a fucking draw hunter. Would I put? I think I would put him above acro. No. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Above priestess. Above, above, yeah. Above priestess too. I think so. Yeah. He's that good. Above. East. Eugene, don't get yes, your Eugene. feelings hurt. Don't get your feelings yes, hurt. Yes, Eugene. Yes, Eugene. Come on, no, don't get your feelings hurt, buddy. Sorry. All the decoding buffs that he gets from Watch, the fact that Opera can't do shit against his ability, most hunters can't do shit against his ability, the five seconds of Tide Turner that he gets if he fucks up his ability that allows him to get to the chair. So, so broken. It's so stupid. So busted, and with the the extra twenty seconds of time. Exactly. There's also the chance that if like you break one of sight, uh, with high walls, like if the hunter goes out to proxy and you get to the chair, um, you can also use your illusion thing, whatever that is, uh, like camouflage as a survivor. They could also be time bought if if the hunter guesses wrong on the fifty fifty. Yep. Wait, why is Merc not S tier because of the nerf? I wasn't here. We've the mentioned it, it's, it's just because of the he's been nerfed constantly. If you want, you can rewind and go find the explanation though. Like as much as I like sucky <clears throat> Merc, he's like kind of fell off. Bro, that that nerf to Merc was crazy. It's Next. so disgusting. Like. Eight, uh, seven seconds. Like we have second Barmaid that, next, so uh, Malcolm, <laughs> this one is your baby. Okay, but so I would put I'm a uh, hardcore barmaid dick rider. I want to say she's S tier, and for a time she was during clerk meta, but no longer. She's mid 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 A tier. I agree. That's where I was gonna put mid A tier because during clerk a single bottle play, the clerk is probably gonna be cooked. If you get two off in the game against the clerk, yeah, it's not happening for her. It's over. Um, but. Nothing changed exactly for Barmaid. However, you're going to see this a lot. It's the Hunters that are being released. Barmaid can kind of manage against Nightwatch now since he got nerfed on release. However, Opera Singer, I don't... She got nerfed too, but she still waits much too fast to perform reasonably well into a Barmaid. Granted, this is the kiting aspect. If you are playing her in a supporting capacity, then maybe it can work. But you're gonna eat, to get bottles off nowadays, it is much harder. You need someone else to also buy time for you. I find often that I need someone like who's playing forward or anti to make sure that I can get my kiter to full health. Um, uh, in the sense that, like, if I'm trying to give a bottle to Abby or Eugene, I need I, I'll usually call over Zeus to hit like with forward or anti or something like this. But um, it's not exactly confirmed now that if you do a bottle play, you'll just get it any you know anymore. It's a bit harder now for her, and so in solo queue, since bottle plays are kind of like rare, um, I'd say she's like below dancer, maybe yeah. below gardener. Question: Why value barmaid over seer when they both feed presence and rely more on good rock hiding? Seer needs to gain his owls by looking at the hunter. Barmaid is in and out. Otherwise, if she's kiting, she has two bottles. Yep. Yeah. Which is it's fine. Strange. Have died hard with that. That's an automatic three cipher. Seer is more questionable because he needs to gain that owl before getting another hit. Than an owl is. Mm -hmm. Barmaid also has her speed bottle, and um, if Seer uses his owl, it's like a one and done thing unless he kites for his second one. But Barmaid, aside, and, Barmaid like, in theory could just like speed bottle, pop a regular like, bottle, heal up. Um, besides that, Barmaid can, like, uh, automatically have another bottle if she uses her first one. Yeah. It's a bit- She needs to mix, it's a bit, You it's can a just bit, drop a pallet mix. 
It's yeah, like to, to mix, it's really like all you need to do is like um, drop a pallet um, or vault a window. I prefer windows if you don't know if the hunter is like fast pallet breaking or not. But um, once you do either of those animations, it's usually a guaranteed bottle mix. And um, I gotta be real with you if you can't kite for 19 seconds after a hit, then uh, probably shouldn't be playing barmaid. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's just, that's, uh. I mean. There's also like things like practicing bottle discipline, but I'm not really trying to make a, bo- a barmaid guide. Uh, but I, sh- I just think she is better than Sir, um, yeah. for reasons and more that everyone explained. It's a bit complex and kind of a gray area, so I understand if um, if you don't fully understand it. I think I but um, if there, if you still have questions, make sure to write them down. We'll try to get to them during maintenance or not maintenance. Sorry, uh, on one Wednesday, podcast. Wednesday night time. Wednesday after night rank. I think I agree with Abby though. I think I put her like right in between Cord and Merc with her being yeah. below Cord. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, I say yeah. above Cord, but okay. The only reason I was putting her below Cord is simply because Cord has stable kiting now as well as rescue. Barmy yeah. is less. Like, she has less rescue potential, and also Cord does better in the meta with Opera and Night Watch. Yeah, Valid. I respect cons- it. She's not <clears throat> consistent, sadly. I respect it. Post do you agree with healing tips when kiting chip hunters? No, that is the worst thing you can do. No, <laughs> it is not efficient at all. You hold Please your don't. bottle. You hold your bottle until you're fully injured. At which point, then you drink. Then you use your speed bottle. Then you vamoose out of there. I see some barmaids um, do that. Then they are not doing proper. Damage. I would only do that. There are some gray areas when you can do that, and then those gray areas are like if you're uh, going to rescue. Yes. But other than that, no, it's not efficient because you can still, I'm assuming you're only 25% damaged. So you still have like wiggle room uh, to, to, to make some plays happen. It's a bit inefficient if I think if you do that. Um, I need to, yeah, I need to like climb rank on my new account. What serves do y'all recommend aside from Embalmer? Anything above Embalmer, to be honest. And hi. Anti. We'll get one time. If you're not paper. planning to harass, yeah. anti is very easy to pick up. You don't need half a brain cell to play her. Anti patient, uh, Ento, maybe? Ento? Ento could work. Cord. Ento's... Okay, it really depends. Like, are you like completely soloing? Yeah. Are you like straight soul ranking soul... or not? It kind of depends on your playstyle, because Ento's a great solo kiter, but if you're solo ranking, she's kind of like ass at support, because sure, survivors can ping you where they are, but you have to remember the ping cooldown and how often survivors are transitioning, so having to constantly guess where survivors are, it, it makes playing Ento really hard in solo rank, because you have to always like be moving your bees to like follow their pings, because... Like I said, there are like the cooldowns mess it up since you're not in voice call constantly updating your teammates where you are, and that makes you lose your decoding time and can also like mess up the placements of like if you can like leave them in doorways or not. So that's why like Ento's like kind of hit or miss with solo queue if you want to kite or not. Yeah. A lot of these survivors are just really communication based and like their potential is really like blocked by just having comms or not. Yeah. Postman. Next. next is Postman. C tier. C tier. I was gonna put C. I said C. C tier. C tier. Above Enchantress, though. Above Enchantress. <laughs> Below. Below, my Below. I think he's like right next to Postman. That is. At least Enchantress can like maybe harass. But what is this guy gonna do? <laughs> Fucking throw a dog at the hunter? Like. <laughs> get him. Get him, Fido. All right. All right. But like. The d- the buffs that he gives the team aren't bad. Like the no, the support. only After the, the de- only the That's only bad. reason he was used was because of the decoding letter. But now it only gives ten percent. Like it's not good anymore. But then his own self system. Put him below Enchantress. It's more bro. consistent than Enchantress. Fair enough. It's more consistent than Enchantress, but like the the cooldown is for a letter is what thirty seconds. How long is it? That's a that's and then like. I, I don't even no, know it's how like long 30. the letter. It's, it's, it's like 30, I think, for the letter. But then the dog cooldown, if it bites, it's like 
it's 20, like 25 seconds around there. 20. So I'm pretty sure in chances get stacks way faster than that. But why would you play him? I mean, I'm not gonna say that he's terrible. It's just that in comparison to everyone else, um, everyone everyone above him is a bit better. Oh. Yeah, his hiding is pretty weak. People only play him because he, because of how he looks. I don't know, bro. Like being able to slow down the hunter into the even if it's only once every couple of like thirty-ish seconds, like that's still value. Same thing with the buffs that he gives on gate opening, the decode buff, even if it's not as good as it used to, and then the movement speed and the vaulting buffs, like that's still valuable. Even the rescuing buff, it takes a while, but it's still better than I would consider enchanter support, where she just tries to like kill herself half of the time, I'm trying to like do useless harassment for the most part. Mm. Mm, I, I feel like I feel like Painter is worse, but that's just my opinion. I I feel like I feel like Explorer is even better than him. I feel like he's I feel like his spot is like right in between him, uh, Explorer and Prisoner, because while you are right, I feel like his letters that he gives are like can be so in insignificant with the cooldown that he also has to face too. Mm. And in solo queue, like I guarantee you, there's a whole. I feel, I feel like there's a bunch of people that will give people letters and then like it doesn't go as planned like if you give a letter to the to the rescuer but then the the, the rescuer isn't decoding or giving like i don't know someone a vaulting speed letter but then like they die or whatever i don't know i don't know it's like so broken windows it's, letter, it's, though like it only again mm. it's a it's a comms like it, it's a comms thing but it's like it's lower. So, For me, it's lower. Uh, For me, it's lower. It's in between. It's in between Explorer and lower. Prisoner. Definitely lower. Lower than Enchantress. Keep it moving. I know he has Keep it moving. ability because of his dog, but like, it's not by much, really. He He's practically naked after he uses everything. So what is Enchantress? Especially, though, especially when I see fucking rings. Slightly? Enchantress literally ha gets stacks like fast in the early game. The only reason she's bad is because of the late game. Exactly. Post Postman is neutral, but like he's neutral throughout the entire game, which is bad because like uh, hunters, their presence increases. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And his dog is like going to be borderline useless end game. That's why he's just he's just not good. He's he's better than prisoner for sure, but when he ain't good he's anymore. In the end game. That's my thing. It's like. I'm like, I again, it's like, it's a, my thing was like, okay, yeah, Enchantress takes the cake for early game, right? Obviously, like, there's no debate about that. She takes cake for early game, but in the early game where the hunter has no presence and it's just reliant on you as a player, it's like, either character in itself, you can, in theory, give yourself a Windows letter, or you could give yourself a vaulting letter, a movement speed letter, use the dog, etc., to kite out hunters in the early game at a consistent level and then you can still use that to kite hunters when they're at their max speed still at a somewhat consistent basis where enchantress in the end game if she has nothing she has nothing and then she eats shit and dies too quickly and then she gives no value in end game where the hunter can really start snowballing because they're at their maximum capacity and i think that that's just more valuable compared to like i think that's just not as valuable as postman where he can at least stay consistent the whole game. Is the thing. While I while I agree with your logic, I feel like something that we're also missing is that the early game is so huge in IDV. If you have a 20 second kite, it's done. Okay. It's basically done. Now you granted get to ending without it. Granted, a granted, if you get terror shocked, whatever, then GG, like that's it for you, I guess, for for your match. If like you know, you needed that rescue end game. So I understand, but for a postman, the chances a postman makes it to endgame in my book, I feel like I feel like he dies. I feel like Enchantress makes it to endgame more reliably than a than a than a postman will. Because that's why everyone's playing now. Exactly. The dog cannot keep up with how fast they are. Plus, they cannot cancel ability. The dog can't cancel abilities that are being in use. Okay, that's fair. That's a fair much. argument. Like, if you that. dog a night walk, he just uses his wind and he just walks at all the speed. Yeah, and nothing Chantress, really happens. Enchantress can still cancel out, like, the stacks at least, okay? I can, the uh, wins and whatnot enforce out, okay. Okay, that I can respect then, yeah. 
get up uh, out of her shadow stuff. Get this nigga below explorers, dude. Stop trying to push it. Below <laughs> nigga said below <laughs> explorers. He's, on he's your trying to push mind. it so hard. Below explorers. What is the meat writing on Postman, dude? Right? There isn't the meat writing of Postman. Bro, just... move him. Oh. Yes, there is. Move well, eight him. minutes you on Postman. Oh, Gosh. <laughs> we spent eight minutes on him? tricks on Postman. I don't know. Dude. Just move him, Zeus. I'm trying oh, to get to Gravekeeper. God. Gravekeeper. <laughs> Fine, BK. Bro. Uh, I have him high highest in A. Yeah, highest I feel like he's a. highest. Highest A. Highest today. Like peak A. Wait, oh, maybe, maybe just just the highest right, right, right now. All right, oh, yeah. He's just in high. Um, maybe, this like. is pe this is purely because of his shovel buff. He counters chip hunters now. Yup. He's no, it's not. It wasn't that before. The thing now that he got is faster. Like you get in faster and get off faster. And the what was it? Fifteen percent extra attack recovery when you hit shovel. Yeah. I mean, that's still worth it, though. That's still worth exactly. I mean, I mean, still it. Exactly. It still takes two chip. It might feed presence, but it's better than thirty fucking percent attack recovery. To the zero. Yeah, it's yeah. better than increasing a zero recovery. <laughs> Count as my one win too, which is annoying good. for me. Yeah, he's just so solid, man. And I still don't know why they keep it's buffing this man. I still don't. <laughs> they're trying to push him to be. All... I swear to God, they're trying to push him to be new merc. I would not be surprised. Would, yeah, he, he's been getting straight be consistent buffs since he came. Whereas out, Merc bro. has been getting straight consistent nerfs. Yeah, because I need these races. Bro. What's uni band? Oh, that's just something I made for when we're doing practices, and I can't remember like all of the characters off the top of my head. Univer uni bands refer to universal brands where in competitive, the first two characters that are picked in every round are permanently banned for the rest of the sets of matches in which you can't use them. The next is Ento. Next is Ento. Abby. Abigail. Abigail. This is you. Although I put Abby. her in like mid A. Is this her rank play? Yeah. Yeah. I put her in mid A. Mid to low. Um, I put her above dancer, below embalmer. Well, I'm well, not actually, arguing. Well, Understandably. I don't know. I think she's kind of tied with dancer right now because. In the current meta, like Nightwatch and Opera, she's kind of like mid again, not gonna lie. As much <laughs> as I love Ento, she's like so good against so many hunters. Like, she's like one of the best transitional kiters in the whole game. But, like, Nightwatch just straight like counters her, to be honest. Like, he can pull her out of her bees. He, like, he can speed himself up to make his recovery faster for hitting them. And I also don't like the nerf she got. Like, if the hunter hits your bees, like, what is it, like, four times, they're completely gone. Yeah. And you have to be, like, so yeah. cautious with how you use your bees now. Because if you let the hunter hit your bees twice, like, they're half gone. Like, they're so easy to kill now. You have to be so, like, careful with how you utilize them. And again, like, she's really, like, um, at, like, her best when you have communication with your other teammates. So you can like leave your bees in like a doorway and then continue decoding so you don't have to keep guessing um, where you can support. But in terms of kiting, I mean, she's a great kiter too, but it, it also really depends like against the hunter you're going against because she could be considered like an S tier hunter, like I'm gonna talk about survivor okay. if you're kiting something like, like a Nyad or um, whatever. But if you're going against something like a BQ, like a Nightwatch, like I just said, she's kind of lackluster against them um, i got a question for you abby yeah. if you're in comms this is just from my period this is from just from my uh, curiosity uh mm -hmm. if this were a competitive tier list when you're in a four-man bc does she go higher mm. yeah she could just she a could tiny bit just a top tiny of it no, no, oh I, tiny uh, bit okay yeah i think it would only make me move to like she one or two probably places. Yeah, she'd probably move one or two places. She's definitely not above Gravekeeper at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, but she could be above Embalmer, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it, it depends. Should Lucky Guy be lower, slightly lower than it? I'm not sure anymore. With these new survivors, I don't. With these new survivors, I don't know if he's like that high anymore. If we're doing yeah. rank tier list, I think Lucky Guy should be lower. But in terms of competitive play, Lucky Guy I think is fine. Just because competitive players always make like um item swap plays, which is why he's so yeah. good and competitive. But no one in rank is doing item swap mm. plays. Really. You don't see that. Side. Put him next to Gardner Zeus, maybe. Yeah. Down here. Below dancer. Just random players, like they just don't know like 
item swap, please. Like in solo queue, I've tried to give like the person on my elbow pads, and, and they, they just, just run away. Wait, they're like, "What is that? What were you doing, Merc? Where's your elbow pads?" Bitch ass. Like I'm gonna keep my Get fucking again. box just in case. Like, bro. yeah, item swap plays are so 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 dependent on communication. And in rank, if you don't have a team and you're solo queuing, you're not doing that. Wait, I promise you, your team randoms team are not exactly. thinking about item plays from their other randoms. Because I promise you, when I'm solo queuing, I am not. I am not relying on my randoms to give to me like, items. So they can ping. Oh yo, I have this. Like and if they this. do, then great, shit. But, like yeah. add me for rank. Let's <laughs> let's play. <laughs> Yeah, good for you, but at the same time, like, I don't think anyone is really, like, expecting their random- Like, oh my- I'm telling you, if the random was were to give me an item in solo queue, I'd actually think I'd be so shocked I'd, like, uninstall. Like, I've never experienced that. I think I would actually, like, go crazy. I- cause Mal- bro, Malcolm was there. I think I got priestess support in one game from a random, and I was She's actually mind-blown. Yeah, I was like, my random supported me in the miracle. <laughs> Oh, the the fuck out. Out. I no, I felt that. Next yeah. up is Painter. Mm. I want to put him in low B. D? D? Nah. Wait. No, no, compared to like characters like Doctor Mind's Eye no, Prisoner, he has. Here. It's it's the deep. It's the passive on the chair. The passive it's on the chair. C tier. C -tier. Top. The oh, only no. thing Again, that makes I, him slightly I redeemable no. is the passive. Mm. Nah, I think he's low. Wait, 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 wait. I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. I have a question. What separates B and C? Um, B and C is like B where you have like your moments and niches, whether it's map dependent or character dependent. If you can like handle a certain hunter. That's what I'm thinking. So C is okay, like- Okay, then the C tier. That's C tier. C is painter. like- C, No, because at least he can handle an opera singer. Huh? Yeah, he can. He's niche. niche. It's, it's, his niche. Uh, it's his niche. It's his niche. It's his niche use. Like in IVO, it's his niche use. His well, we're talking can about be easily, solo rank here, His paintings can be easily countered, though. It can be. In but terms his... of soul, in terms of rank in general, I think he's lower. I think he's like C also, because, like we were saying, Opera Singer is sure she's like top of the meta right now. She's probably like if one of the best, if not the best, hunter in the game. But at the same time, there's other hunters that exist too that are being played more than Opera because she's basically being perma banned, and almost all the other hunters are just gonna walk around his painting. <laughs> like realistically, every painter I've seen in rank, like all they do is just place their paintings down, and the hunter just looks away from them. It is too easy to dodge his single ability. So what I'm hearing is that we need to have release painter back in the game again. Oh, I mean, no. <laughs> actually, wait. in this meta, in listen, this listen, meta listen. like before it was broken, but now it might actually kind of balance like okay. Listen, listen. Trust. All I'm saying is that if this was release painter, if this was release a painter? release painter, if this is release, let me stop. But current, I can agree with that then. I can agree with him being in C. I keep forgetting we're talking about rank and I'm and not about turning. I'm trying. I'm, 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 I'm trying. I'm definitely C tier. I'm definitely C tier right now. <laughs> you need like, to stop thinking about dark turning. Zoom spam. Oh, what do you think about this turning? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Battery. <laughs> Battery. Like okay, let's try. Let's try, and, let's try. Let's try and let's try and speed run these though, because it is getting me. Bro, uh, after all of his B. nerves, that was so unnecessary. Isn't it high B? It's higher than it's higher than Prospector, I think. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. B. Higher if you're B. low tier in solo and you learn batter just the slightest bit, you can actually can. carry. You can actually like become the cancer to the hunter. Become the disease. like my batter is shit and low tier hunters suck against my batter. So. It's like... <laughs> Next we have toy merchant. A. A. But I, I think she's my A. Mid. I, nah, I'm putting mid A. Mid. Mid A. Below. Oh, it's, it's rank. Below, it's rank. Dancer. It's rank. Below Gardner. Oh. It's so oh, rank. Below Dancer is acceptable. I don't mind. I will put it below. Below Dancer is acceptable because with Dancer, you don't have to, like, have a brain to use this skill. You know? Like, some yeah. randoms, they don't, just, they, they don't touch the catapult. They don't know what it does. They're just like they look at it like it's a fucking like home. <laughs> like it's like you set up catapult off chair and then they run to the corner of the map with no pallets. Like okay, buddy. <laughs> it's like did you not just see the catapult? Like it's highlighted in bright yellow. Like you can see it across I the map. Some people should not be playing this game. 
I put it Thanks below Dancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Saw... Nice stream for you. Did it actually? Mm. Yes. No. Oh, never mind. Your mouse wasn't moving. Yeah. Oh, okay. I tweaked. No. Psychologist? Psychologist? Uh, I yes. Did a, I, B. I did a, what is wrong with B? you, girl? <laughs> no way. I, I, yes. I was putting low A to B. Like, lowest of low A. Huh. Another psychopaths. Oh, it's never mind. It's so low. Oh my god. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, can't I'm say that. Dumb. Can't say that. Can't say that. I'm, I'm <laughs> dumb. I wasn't gonna. I think I would actually put it. Yeah. I low. Like the lowest of A's to highest of B's, maybe. And even then, yeah. that's a little stretch. Her extra hit is fine. It, it's just so. Her... I feel like her utility comes a lot from her whistle, which a lot of the time randoms just decide to not use because not... they think it's a waste of time. They would rather like decode while injured and risk the hunter coming at them and then they die in like two seconds than just take the whistle and that's it. Especially when she has her stress that keeps her at full right? health. It's the fact that they don't want to take my whistle and continue decoding injured. Yep. When I might next to <laughs> they, they want me to force you. They want you to run halfway across the map to heal Mango, you. Mango, we'll try to answer that question um, in, uh, on, on Wednesday. We'll on Wednesday to... because that, that's a Niche. Honestly, there's a lot of times when you could or could not whistle. It's mostly like a, a Based situation. But well, we'll, we'll definitely we'll definitely talk about that one later. Yep. Patient. Patient. Isn't, isn't he like yeah, S, S tier? S tier. Yeah. Isn't he though? I would I because would he's like S tier. Acrobat. He's just acrobat, but with hooks. Uh, I just put him below mm -hmm. acro because he only has three, where acro has six. I agree. Yeah. Also, his, uh, his, uh, what's it called? Synergy with Psych? That doesn't count. That doesn't count. No. Oh, yeah, it's... You know, it could work, you know, like that one... That no, one no, 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 no. No, it's still okay, bro. Chill. Okay, I can't put too much faith in Psych. Novos is, uh... Nov oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. This is That's yours. Solo kiting. It's yours, Zeus. Yeah, so, Novelist, um, I'm not gonna lie, Chief. I'm putting this guy, like... He's he's in he's in mid A. I put him in mid A. Right wow, in between Gardner crazy. and Lucky Guy. Wow. You're crazy. Nah. I Below above mercenary is insane actually. Uh, mm. No, like actually. No. Wow. Like, I know Merc nope. is like kinda goofy wow. right now, but nope. like above. I thought we were all being objective. Like Abby was objective with hers, I was objective with mine. Pearl oh, okay, too. okay. So here's As my logic here, here's my logic with this, right? My logic with novelist is the sole fact if you are just playing a solo kite novelist, you run your little flywheel, you run your broken windows, it is you are a pain in the ass to chase, especially with the goofy shit that you can do with him. Whether it's swapping positions to disorient the hunter's ability, you can do it with a BQ mirror, you can do it with Ancats, you can do it with Fool's Gold when he throws his fuck-ass pickaxe and swap positions with him. You can do it with yes, Opera pickaxe. Singer, where you can move her around and force her out of her shadow and force her to be on cooldown. The book That's in like it. Thing that the hunter Never mind. chases you. Never mind. You're valid. Yeah, you. it, it's, a mean... solo, it's a solo rank tier list. I'm assuming that the hunter's yeah. gonna chase me. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. You're valid. You're valid. It's just, it's just the fact. The only thing my issue with Opera, why he's not high, with not Opera, with Novelist, why he's not higher, is every time you use a book, it takes longer to get the next book, and that kind of fucks you over when, in especially in Endgame, where certain areas are already used up and you don't have that many pallets to work with. Doesn't that just come down to discipline? To more, which is like a player. This is that's user error, in my opinion. More or less, okay, that's fair. Like, you see I, novelist using the book when the hunter's like 0. 0.5 feet in front of him. Yeah. Little girl in solo queue. Um. Um. Isn't that C, C isn't tier? That, C tier? Isn't that Z tier? Z tier? Did you say D tier? No, I said C tier. No, Pearl. Pearl said Z. Pearl said Z. Bruh. <laughs> Gee, what's that? No, that's, I think that's that, D. I think little girl in solo. I think it is D. I think it's like I think it's, it's, it's be. better than the out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't put little girl below enchantress, please. No, nope. no, nope, I'm be, sorry. I'm gonna if you were an S badge. Oh. Nope. She Abby, just can't. Abby. Like, what does a little girl do in solo rank? Like, what will she do? Exactly. Oh, like, I'm gonna go, like, when is the last time a little girl actually bound on to a random and the random kited? 
Never. <laughs> like I've only ever seen it in two VA. More than Enchantress, man. No, Abby. Enchantress okay, but... gets extra points because it's Black History Month. Let's not be disrespectful. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, oh. Black. Yeah, Abby. Can't argue against that. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. what, what, what do you guys do for yourself now, Abby? Huh? Like, it, it, it's um, like... Little girl can give her oh, teammates oh. decoding buffs. Like, okay, but yeah. how many little girls are you seeing do this? No. Well, I'm sorry, little girl maids are idiots. <laughs> and it's like, and it's, <laughs> it's like she isn't like their own newbies. It's not even that. It's yeah. just her own self sustain. That that is like ah. Learn your oh character, God, bro. She's such like a cute shit. Character. Weeping. I'm so sick of people not understanding the like passive abilities of characters. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, isn't yeah. he below? I think below perfumer above painter. I don't know where though. You know, put my boy in ass too, bro. Shut up, you shut your up, bitch bro. Ass shut your bitch ass No one up. wants your cold weeping, bro. <laughs> I'm putting him in, I put weeping in C. I put weeping Fair. in C. I put him in top of C. Why weeping? I put weeping in top of C solely because his kiting is just like, it, it's generic. It's just get speed boost and keep distance. And he has that like every 20 seconds and that's about it. With then the niche aspect of a harassment, then giving himself yeah. a speed boost and slowing down the hunter when the rocket explodes. Like, I think, but that's a, about I think it. She, he is the worst version of forward, so I agree. Yeah, like they wanted to make him like new forward, but they kind of failed. Yeah. Um. Okay, but my thing with Leech and Little right. Girl is the fact that like half of the time your randoms are not gonna line up for you, like they're not gonna ping for you to go to them, so that you can leech onto them and save your ass. And then secondly, the teleport. You, she gets highlighted in red when she's teleporting, so in theory, if you're fast enough, you can hit her out of the teleport animation to just say, fuck that, where she has to, like, stand still for, like, I Abby, how many seconds does it take for teleport? Isn't it three or two? Mm -hmm. That is it's like, not two hours for sure. It's longer. Really? Yeah. Like, how, how long does it take for her to teleport? It takes a Five. minute. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, it's like. It takes a while. Yeah. She has to sit down and like <laughs> she yeah. gotta sit down and, like, and then meditate, focus. <laughs> that's down. Um, I will tiger. say, yeah, and actually... little girl's like way better with communication. Oh yeah, but solo <laughs> cute. She's pretty. Oh shit. yeah, for sure. Abby, our favorite little, little girl, girl comp. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, hey, wildling little girl. Mm -hmm. huh? Round no. one. <laughs> yes. Round one. Wildling little girl. <laughs> we should do that. Yeah. We're um, Oh, crazy. oh yeah, release little girl was insane. <laughs> um, S tier all the way, bro. People were all saying right. I was stupid for saying that, bro. And I'm like, professor, professor, I have him in B. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have him. If in it B. weren't for his fucking nerf because of the clerk meta, he, I'd be saying he's I, I, S tier. S. Or well, maybe A tier, A tier, A tier, A tier. Oh. Because I forgot what his clerk nerf is. He was S tier. He Don't was S tier when clerk was around. Was he not? No, mm. Professor For was used as the counter to Nightwatch, right? What? The counter uh, to Nightwatch is swinging and looking the other way. I mean, to Professor. Well, he was used to counter to Nightwatch, I guess, as well. Uh, it's definitely Clerk and Nightwatch, I guess. I I think he's. I'm fairly certain it was Clerk, though. Clerk sure. for sure has no presence for I, I say for sure he's definitely like B tier. Like, I. Okay. I I think I have him like right in between Cowboy and Wildling. If you can win the mind game, he can be A tier though. But that's a uh, very yeah, good be. They hard nerfed him. He used to give three shells yeah, he, at the yeah, start of the Z, game. Now Z, he gives Z only one. It. It's mentioned. so dumb. Didn't he used to start with three scales? Yeah, he used to start. And I don't know why they nerfed it. Like, it was so unnecessary. Just because so nobody uses like, scales no anyway. So. <laughs> they definitely no use them in competitive. They use them in comp. They, they, it's like the same logic with Prospector. Prospector wasn't touched for months, years. He Until gets used in Clerk and Clerk meta. Nerf. No, they bitch. Like, like they don't touch survivors until they're used in comp. They get their spotlight in comp, and then they're like, okay, oh, fuck maybe, you. maybe, maybe, no, maybe. No, but it, like, it, would, it was actually insane how fast they nerfed him. He got played twice in comp <laughs> next week on Wednesday. <laughs> they, they said, nah, fuck Professor that. Nerf. He gets one Nerf scale. Professor. It's so it's it was actually that it. fast. It was actually that fast. Next up is Antiquarian. Hey, that, that's not even a conversation. Bro. Put her ass in S, bro. Put her. I was thinking next of putting one. her next to Mind's Eye. You. 
<laughs> so we can all agree top of S. They both right? have gains. They, yeah, yeah. They, top, top. they both. <laughs> so, yeah, she's top S. We can all agree top of S tier, right? Yeah. For best, sure. Even with uh, her game. nerf, she is so she's so broken. Good. She's the so disarm, like people understand. Like a lot of people, like with her harassment, they're like, "Oh, it's a one second stun that doesn't do anything." The disarm, bro. Even if it's like half of a second, there's still that tiny little frame where the hunter can't swing, and that's like a make or break with your like your flywheel, your item. Anti got nerfed. Block. Yeah, anti did get nerfed. She's still good though. Like. No. Composer. Composer. Oh, C tier. Uh, C tier. Z. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. He's better than. Prisoner. He's better than Mech, no? I would argue uh, that I... in solo. Solos? Yeah, yeah. So he's better. Okay, yeah, okay. He's better because Mech is this low because. Mech is, yeah. Trump. Because, yeah, because of uh, solo queue. And he codes yeah. faster. He, he should be higher. Better. He has better self sustain. Yeah, he should be higher. He's. I put I him in between say... Seer, in between Seer and Mike. Maybe I. However, maybe even putting him in between Wildling and Seer. Even. I agree. Yeah. You need to know how to kite to use him though. That's the problem. Bro, we're not talking about user error, bro. I know. I'm then why are you mentioning, huh? You bought? Because it's, you no, bought? Because I don't like composer you players. Yes, They're all bad. Oh. All right, we have three more characters. We have three more characters. Journalist is journalist is high. Uh, it's high below, right low. below. I'd say right what do you below. Mean, right? I'd say Just right below. Right. I would say right below Anto. I agree. Yeah. Right, right, below, right there. Yeah. Right below. Right Anto. below. Anto. Anto, yeah. Right below. So so yeah. Go. Yeah. Now we have. You waiting a... for it, nigga? I already put it. Oh, I hate you. The streams delayed, you dumbass. Oh, no, like cry about he it. was like, hurry up, bro. Damn. No. All right. Cheerleader, yo, pe people are people oh, are gonna hate you? me for this. People are gonna oh, hate you? me. D tier, D tier, D tier. <laughs> I, D -tier. I hate Get her it so much, bro. I Hell, hate her so I much. D tier. I would. Cheerleaders I would, is still I, I hate her. D tier. I hate her so much. People are gonna hate me for this. She is so fucking shit actually trash no, when it comes to solo queue uh, she's, she's better than postman no, she's better than postman oh, she's so fucking so 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 being so biased right now it's not biased it's not it's not biased. Okay, it's biased. okay if you're gonna okay okay listen to me if you're gonna put ento as a tier and you're gonna say that it's purely because of her kiting ability because her, let, we just talked about this ento support in solo queue is so ass like she's basically a pure kiter and she's a broken kiter if you want then you have to treat cheerleader the same way no we can't she's a her broken kite, kiter. Her, 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 kite, kite her, kiting, her kiting is so much more inconsistent every everything you gain with your whistle you lose because of the slowdown and it's doesn't more inconsistent, but it's better than prisoner for sure like yeah it's better than prisoner it's better than fucking clown like it's sure it's not at the same level as ento she's not a tier i agree she's not at the same tier as ento but she's still better than fucking enchantress and put her at top of c put her at top of c top of c top of c all you're getting at me top of c all you're getting at because like at the lowest at the at the lowest at the highest she'll get from me is the highest she will get from me is in between seer and mechanic otherwise she's top of c that is bro, the highest she'll get. That is me. top of C, bro. Top of C. Her cut. Her if she's is not so inconsistent, and if she's not in a broken area, she's meant to be a hardcore supporter. That's like her whole entire thing. Who like can kind of quote unquote kite, but like do little, do little pom poms things for yeah, how support, long? Yeah. Like her support is actually booty cheeks. No, like, she has her niches with like arrow cheer, arrow not like cheer weeping clown with the reset, with the but rockets like rockets and everything. It's like. I'm sorry, chat. Beep, beep is not that good. Beep, beep is not all that shit. I'm sorry. Beep, beep, beep is, is not that. Beep, beep is not the shit, bro. So the slowdown is insane. Ass. If you do not have two of them, that slowdown kills you. Any distance that you thought you got, you lose in those four seconds of being slowed down. If you go against a Ripper, GG, bro. That slowdown free fog. Yes. Charge the foggy blade. That's all. Charge the foggy blade when you're moving at the speed of a fucking snail. Yeah, but that hard. GG, easy, bro. Oh wow, the one foggy <laughs> blade, right? The one foggy blade. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's not, like a character <laughs> thing though. Anyways, uh last one's Aeroplanus. Aeroplanus S. 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 
I think he's above patient. I I would put him above acro. I'm not even gonna cap. Actually, no, 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 because oh, six balls, six balls, six balls. I no, no, no. You only get six balls if you are able to decode a cipher and a half tight for sixty and rescue. It's very rare that an acrobat gets six. Minimum, he has four. Because okay. he gets the he gets the fourth one from kiting. Yeah, though. Yeah. yeah. On some shit like Chinatown, Aeroplanus is like so so good. Aer Aeroplanus is too like he's he's S tier, bro. Like it's insane. Um, God, I love. Planus. This is the tier list, I guess, people. Yeah, this is this is the tier list. This is our um identity oh. v survivor rank solo rank tier list uh, for uh, season thirty. Definitely.